Hello, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. We have just arrived at the North Pole, and we're ready to embark on the next section of our journey. But first, we're going to do some upgrades to the Mastodon to further improve our survivability. Now, <laughs> I normally start all these episodes with, like, good morning, we got the sunrise, but... We're at the North Pole. There is no such thing as sunrise or sunset. Take a look at this. There's the sun is over there. Let me open up the admin controls and move the sun. It literally tracks straight across the horizon. <laughs> I mean, the only reason I'm saying it's sunrise now and it's the day is because it goes behind that hill on that portion of the day. And that's it. I'm only saying at sunrise is becomes because it comes out from behind that hill. If I was on top of the hill, I would literally have sun 24-7. Which is interesting. And I'd love to run a solar tower up here, because that would get me a lot of power. However, we've got tons of power. All in the form of hydrogen. As our tanks here are rocking. You can take a look at them. Control panel, 92% full. Ooh. Each one is just absolutely rocking. And then our batteries, so full. Fully depleted in a day of power. But that also means that we are currently... Uh, I believe we're currently running some of our bits and bobs on here. Not sure if our, our assembler is doing something, isn't it? can't see. Where's our assembler? Assembler is on. It is currently making me a bunch of steel plate. Awesome. So, I need to lay out some stuff. <laughs> I'm not putting my words together very well. We need to do more daily survival systems. Because while I do currently have uh, some amount of food, We've got some water, and we've got some tofu, and if we look into the uh, the bison here, we do have some more tofu there. I'd also like to grow more varieties. We have potatoes and carrots and tomatoes and all sorts of stuff, as we do have some seeds. We've got carrot seeds, tomato seeds, potato seeds, and cucumber seeds. And if we get all of those made up, our food resequencer can make us some beautiful, beautiful meals. Like, look at that. Of course, we'll need some uh, animal meat, but we do have a little bit, so we can make some of these luxury meals. But we can just have a bunch of food available. And I think that would be amazing. So let us do it. We have soil tray crop grower, water recycling system, enclosed hydroponics farm, an open open cage hydroponics farm, a food protein resequencer, an LCD display panel for our daily needs, and also emergency ration dispenser. Uh, I don't think emergency rations are going to be super useful as it's a low-cost unit that produces emergency food from water uh, emergency food and water from gravel and ice so that's useful if you're just trying to survive hello however I'm trying to do more than that I'm trying to thrive so for sure we need a food protein resequencer because this is what uh, assembles the meal from raw vegetables and proteins so starter starting block and should be built first we also have the different hydroponics bays a basic tier open cage hydroponics not as fast or efficient as the enclosed so we'll probably uh, not do it and also it looks like it's a bigger block and then we have the enclosed hydroponics bay which is the advanced tier hydroponic food grower with fast growth times and material use requires water plant nutrients and gravel to reduce vegetables okay we also have the soil tray crop grower, which 
I doesn't have any information here. Uh, so, is this where we plant our seeds? I just don't know. And we also have a water recycling system, so of course we're gonna need that. I'm thinking about where I want to put these. Like, the front of this rover was blasted off in the last couple episodes because of a lightning storm. And it's kind of serendipitous that happened because I do need to rebuild the front. But I'm not sure if I want to place these just here. Uh, just yet. I'm thinking I kind of want to place these along the edges here beside the um, storage containers. So, what I could do, and I may need to uh, pop out some of these conveyor uh, lines to make them into junctions and run lines down, is I was thinking, like right in here, this is a nice, it's tight, it's out of the way. Uh, we also need to make a medical bay at some point here. This needs to fit in somewhere. So this could easily fit in right here. Alternatively, this could also fit, uh, not as much. Yeah, it doesn't really fit as much here. This could fit here in the corner of the dock, though. I'm trying to think of what's a good spot for this medical room, because I could turn that, uh, H2 O2, so that that's facing downwards, and then just run a run a pipe down, and then I could put in this medical room here, so that way I'm responding in the vehicle bay, or with a medical room, because there's no doorway here, I can cover up this section. I could have a medical room right there. I think that's probably the best place for a medical room. Uh, let's grab a little bit of materials to play stuff with. I need like some steel plates, some girders, and some interior plate. If I put a medical room uh, here, and then beside the medical room, I could have my food protein resequencer, right? Say, leave a block space so that way I can get into the medical room, the the front of it. Food protein resequencer, and uh, an enclosed, no, the water recycler. Yeah, put my water recycler here. I could pipe off the top of that into the side of this thing. So my piping for the conveyors would be something like this. A conveyor pipe out a junction, a pipe, and what is this? Mm, a curve downwards into the top of the medical bay, and then also a pipe curve into this side of this, which would give me my food protein resequencer. Uh, question, does the food protein resequencer have one on the top of it? It's does. Hmm. Okay. So I could also just pipe into the top of it. Like... Oh, can I... Can I angle it through there? Uh, no, does not want to let me do that, so I'll walk around the outside here. Like... That. So I can access my food protein resequencer through here. I have a little bit of room to get in and out of my medical bay. I could even put a a locker or something here to make it look good. Uh, say some lockers. And this would be my little food and survival area. Then on the other side, I'm going to have... What is it here? My enclosed hydroponics farms. And we would go one, two, three, four. Because we have the four different types of seeds for the carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, and uh, cucumbers. So one, two, three, four enclosed hydroponics farms coming along here. Those would as well be fed by a straight tube. And then if I'm not mistaken, 
these guys also have a thing on the top and a thing on each side. Yep. So then I would just need to do a curve down there and then all of these guys are plugged in. So that would be all of my foodstuffs all plugged in and happy as well as my medical room leaving this area still open for interpretation and how I want to do it. Uh, I still want to have an, like you get to this spot and you go up and there is a second level in the front but I think this might be good for the the food section. So let's give this a go. Uh, we got enclosed hydroponics. Let's get these guys built up first. Uh, not much. Let's see. Do I have all of the stuff to make these? Is a really good question. There's one. And, okay. Let's first off, let's take a look at what this thing can do. Uh, it requires 125. There's a fair amount of kill bots for this. Oof. Jeez. Uh, enclosed... It's not a part of the production. Hydroponics Farm 4. Let's call this Hydroponics Farm Carrot. And let's see what we can do with some carrots there. So, carrot seeds. And then, I'm not sure what else we need. We just put in carrot seeds. Close hydroponics farm we have a hydroponics farm on here drinking water and nutrients oh does this is this only going to do okay let me go grab those nutrients let me grab them out of here is this only going to do algae and such? This is just a faster version of it. Maybe I don't need four of these. And then I also need gravel. Gravel, that's it. Where is my gravel? There we go. Give me that gravel. Yes, it's only going to make me algae. Okay, so that's what the hydroponics farm does. So I don't know if I need... I don't know if I need four of these, or even if I place them there. Oh, it's got a really nice animation, though. Do I just have one? Or maybe just one here? the hydroponics and that makes me have al algae and the rest of this stuff here is that what the um the soil tray that's probably what the soil tray is so this guy makes all my different foods like the um carrots and such oh, okay so this guy actually has it on the bottom, and only on the bottom. How am I going to pipe that? And that's, of course, if I want to keep it in this orientation. There's nothing saying that I have to. But I do need to pipe it somehow. Uh, what I could do... Is I could have the hydroponics here in the center. And... The hydroponics farm, the enclosed hydroponics farm, has connections on all four sides there. Except the two sides that are showing the uh, animated uh, model in the center. So it has one in the bottom. I could then run conveyors through the, 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 the bottom of this. And then have soil trays, two on each side, of a built hydroponics farm in the middle. So this hydroponics farm would go. Okay. I get it now. Let's do it. Let's do it that way. <laughs> so yes. Goodbye hydroponics farm. It was a good at knowing you. Good to get that, uh, that strategy figured out here. 
than a soil tray thing. Let's, let's try building one of these crop growers just to test. And we will slice out the flooring. I can always uh, lower the uh, suspension and get these from underneath later. But we'll just plop down a couple conveyors while we can. Soil tray crop grower. Okay. Mode assemble. Soil tray crop grower. Okay. So it takes fertilizer and the different things. Oh! Excellent! And I could just have one for each of the four, and I could just have them on repeat. And any time I got seeds, I would get it. Phosphorusing and potassiuming it? What? What the hell are phosphorus and potassium? Where do I get those from? I have no idea. Not in the tools, not in components. Obviously not in small blocks or large blocks. Whew. I wonder, is this the right thing to do? Do I have four of these, one for each one? Because it kind of looks like this acts essentially as a uh, uh, an assembler. I could just set it up to just do whatever with the amount of seeds I have. Because I don't have that many seeds or fertilizer. Uh, let me take a look here. We've only got like one something carrot seeds. Like four something potato seeds. Only two fertilizer. So we could only do two things before we ran out of fertilizer. And it doesn't look like we can make some more fertilizer. So maybe crop growers are just simply not what we need. Interesting. I am learning more about this mod as I screw around with it. It's okay, ship. Don't get all jumpy. So, if that's the case, I may only need uh, say a single enclosed hydroponics. And I can put it right here. Yeah, because I'm going to put some armor over top of these wheel sets, so that can go right there. Take out the remaining items. Then we can build up the water recycler. And we got the food protein resequencer. And then this should cover our uh, daily survival needs. Because then we can just make off the food protein resequencer all of our different foods. And again, just mainly running on tofu. That works for me. I can work from tofu. Then we just need a few tubes and such. Get this stuff built up. And sneak around back behind there with a nice jump. And that should allow this hydroponics here. Hydroponics farm. It's spinning, it's working. Enclosed hydroponics farm, water and gravel. It just needs the nutrient solution. And there you go. We're now making algae soy products. And we're not on this small hydroponics farm. So I can take that other uh, small hydroponics farm, all of the small stuff, and turn it all off. Excellent. Uh, get that stuff transferred to cargo. 
small food protein resequencer get it all transferred out of there small reactor that's fine and then food protein resequencer can take all of the various ingredients we have for some reason it doesn't take cucumbers okay There we go. All sorts of wonderful products there. Nutrient solution can go into the uh, hydroponics farm here as we can take out some of this uh, that water. We need all that water in there. Let me just let that algae soy product make. Excellent. Okay. So then, get rid of all those. They're all good for now. We need to get our medical bay. As we do have enough silver, we've made enough product there to do that. We can take it out of here. Okay. Just deposit all of our stuff. Take out things. Insufficient space and character inventory. As we transfer each medical component at a time and then yeah second medical room oh that makes me happy so now I can respawn on the mastodon in case it explodes that is good for us because now we're no longer a one trick pony we have some backup if the bison I go out with it and I fight something and I die fighting that the bison gets destroyed I'm not done I still have the ability to uh, continue my adventure as I can rescue myself with the Master Don's uh, survival kit and also it's nicely packed back here nice little survival corner I do gotta get these lockers built up though Lockers, there we go. There. And once I add a wall to this, it'll look just fine. And I like how this still acts as a uh, cargo uh, access. Although, realistically, do I need the lockers? Probably not. It make accessing this uh, cargo access a little bit easier. And I can just put a wall here. When I'm all good and ready for it. For now, easy place for me to refill all of my bits and bobs. Here, I can easily grab some food and water. Got some not so beef burger and fries. And with you cooking away, making me all sorts of algae, I just need to get all my gravel in there. Excellent. Now I just need more gravel, because I'm going to eat it up making algae. Gravel and ice. That's all I need to stay alive now. Okay. So that is my daily survival needs. Upgraded on the rover here. Now. I still want to move around some stuff up front here. Just grab some steel plates and let's go and sort of mark this out. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Kind of feel going back. That kind of thing. That's the kind of room that I want. And then second floor will be above that. I'll have a one high room here, which I'll probably make like a bunks or something. I'll make this like cafeteria you come up here you get your food you come back here cafeteria toilet bunk beds kind of feel then we'll have a ramp that goes up uh, in the meantime I want to move you real quick here because I'm gonna take away those blocks there 
don't exist anymore. Uh, I'm tempted to have this beam of uh, conveyor go one tick higher and then become a beam up there. Give myself a little bit more room on the uh, cargo bay. Not the cargo bay, the cockpit area. Uh, where to put the scout? Probably right here would be best. I do need to build these blocks up. Yep. Let's go build those blocks. Just so that if something clangs, they're not having like one health and the uh, scout drops. So these blocks are all built. Nice and strong. Good scout. Stay. I still need to make a dock for you very soon. Very, very soon. So I'm thinking that the there's going to be a couple blocks like this over the wheels. Yeah, just like on this side. And then it goes block, block there. And then I need to get the slope blocks again. Light armor slope base there. And there. And then the half block. So that way there's that extra room for the, the piston to go down. And it'll be the same on this side. We're going to want block, 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 block along there. And here. Wait, wait. How did I do it on that side? So blocks over top of there? No, there isn't. Not on that side. So block, block. We've got the... The base base and slap and I should get those all welded up here soon I can drop in on this end weld them all from the top like this getting access all the way back to here excellent So the access for this level, I think, will be, I think, right here. Right where this ramp is. But instead of the ramp, I'm going to put in actual stairs. Uh. Uh, what is it? It's just hot. It's just hot out. Extract components, please. Thank you. So then actual stairs. Stairs. Then this is the level. I'll take all this off. Yeah, and the reason why I want to get rid of this is because I'd like the cockpit to be, like, here, and I don't want a conveyor right above my head. I'm going to cut this back. But it gives me easy access to the decoy to repair it, if need be, or to, to manage it. And this will be the cockpit level. Yes. Yeah, this is working out. So then, a seat, which we'll do a control seat. Uh, I need computer, I need 62 more. Okay, let me just build up 100 computers. I can do that easily. Uh, here? Yeah, here. That's a good spot. Ugh, as a storm rolls in. Hopefully, lightning doesn't strike again. But I guess we're kind of ready for it if it does. And there we go. We're back on a control seat for the Mastodon. Now I can redo all of our bindings here. Inventory. Uh, steel plate. We got some extras. Oh, yeah. Thousand steel plate, so we're ready actually to get struck by lightning if it happens, because our little uh, weather vane will be able to self-repair itself, which is very useful. Uh, but beyond that, we kind of need to do a uh, pop out with the spectator camera. So I'll leave the mastodon setting here, 
And let's fly out the spectator. Well beyond where the storm is. And let's take a look at what we've done so far. So. GPS. For all of our different waypoints. Where is that horseshoe oasis? There's the river delta. There's the mountain oasis. Horseshoe oasis over here. Okay, so this is where we started. And we drove out. And we went to the mountain oasis. Then we drove this way. And, you know, this is a very general thing. All the way to the river delta. With a whole bunch of sidetracking. Then, of course, we hit up this oasis, which we probably can... Yep, there's my mining hole that I made. And then after that, we came out of there, across the thing here, up onto the platform, took out this tower. There's my sapping hole. Then from there, went straight on towards this other base, taking all of its resources. Over my bridge, through the mountains, around the ridge line here to this base, jumping down to here and driving out, to then drive across all of this here to arrive at the North Pole. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. Now, what is next? Where is the next bit of our journey going to take us? So we're, we're done the River Delta, we're done the Horseshoe Oasis, we're done the Mountain Oasis. The North Pole is now done. We'll mark it with a little slash there. Uh, we'll turn it off yet. We have to think about where we're going next. We are eventually ending up at the Badlands again. So the Badlands is actually right beside the Horseshoe Oasis. And it's going to be the last target. So I've kind of have it set up here that we have a series of targets. We need to go around this way around the planet. So if I back off here, we can see there is the Badlands, the Peninsula, the Canyon Oasis, the Desert Plateau. And we also have the South Pole. So I think the next step of the journey is going from North Pole to Plateau Oasis to South Pole. We're literally going to go pole to pole directly in essentially a straight line. You know, as long as we go to the Plateau Oasis straight through from the North Pole, we can go directly to the South Pole. And then from the South Pole, we'll go to, uh, what would be the next one here? South Pole to Desert Plateau to Canyon to that end. Okay, so let's go Plateau Oasis to South Pole. I want to put this into order here. So, Plateau Oasis 1. I'll make this a little dash 1. South Pole dash 2. Then Canyon, then Peninsula, Canyon Oasis dash three, then Peninsula is four, then it should be what? Desert Plateau five, Badlands six. Wait, where's the Desert Plateau? Oh no, Desert Plateau is there. Uh, Desert Plateau is three. Dun, 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 dun. Desert Plateau is three, and then Canyon Oasis is four, Peninsula five, Badlands seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, 
uh, six. Not seven. Yeah, six. Da, 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 da. Six. And then after the Badlands, back to the Horseshoe Oasis. Because it is literally right on the other side of the Badlands. Just like ten kilometers away. So that... That's our plan for the rest of the series. So we could probably figure out <laughs> how far this is. But... We have a very long drive ahead of us. We literally have to go from one end of the planet to the other with the Plateau Oasis happening halfway through. And I am really excited for that. Next big step, pole to pole. And we'll see how fast we can do that. So we'll turn off all the GPS here, except for Plateau Oasis, which is the next one we have to go to. And that guy is 57 kilometers straight through the planet. Of course, it'll be much longer because we have to go around the exterior of the planet instead of tunneling straight through it. But there's an unknown signal. We gotta get ourselves an unknown signal. As we are back in the driver's seat here. Ready to kick ass. Oh, and parking the uh, drone there is probably gonna cause my camera to freak out sometimes. The iron. Uh, not that I need iron right now. Uh, no, no, signal. I wonder how long this is going to take me. Oh yeah, oh, that, this feels good. Oh, we can get rid of this. We don't need this scaffolding anymore. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is starting to really come together. It's starting to feel like an actual, like, designed rover now, instead of just a hodgepodge of, of crap on a grid. Zebra welder. Do we have any fun things for me? Yeah. Do you have a cargo container? Uh, you do. Okay. Synth food, cucumbers, emergency rations. Yeah, just a little bit of stuff. It's not even worth, like, picking that thing up to throw it into the, uh, the grinder. <laughs> it's so small. It's not even worth the time. I should just hit the road. Yeah, there we go. Deposit the stuff. Get back into the cockpit. We gotta turn ourselves around as the Plateau Oasis is way the heck down there. But here we go. Off on the next major step of this exploration. Go from pole to pole directly. Uh, of course, we'll keep marking up all of our goodies on the way there as you can never pass up marking up some iron deposits. As I want to see how many things I can mark up. And besides, at the end of the series, I'll turn every single one of these ore deposit things on, and then I can just see this line that I essentially drove the entire way here, which will be epic, to say the least. Okay. So... Plateau Oasis is on its way. Uh, there's some resources on either side, but whatever. I'm driving past them. I mean, I'm pretty set to just drive for a long time now, right? I have a fair amount of resources all stockpiled. Uh, my camera's bugging out because of the... Uh, the <laughs> where I docked my, my spotter, so I'll just go into first person for a while. I have a bunch of fuel. I mean, all I have to do is turn on my engines, and I've I've literally got fuel for days. So I think it is just driving time. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe that the assertive stuff, like assertive air traffic and assertive, I, I wanted to, I, I would, 
I wanted to hope that assertive uh, stations works on Petram, but it doesn't seem to. What do we got here? Iron. Okay. So, assertive stations would have been nice because then, you know, I can actually have something attack me. So I need to make sure how to, f like, I need to figure out how to make these mods work now. Because it, while the, the surface spawning stuff, the bases, the random encounters, those have been doing well. I need to get something to attack me. Because I need some more, um, some more trouble now. I've gotten to the point where I could literally just drive, and the rest of the series could be very boring. So I need to add some, uh, some more issues. <laughs> I need to add a lot more issues. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. i got to figure out how to make that, uh, make my life harder for the next episode. But for now, I just got to drive. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.